that we might do something a little bit different. And let's start in belly shavasana today. So we're gonna come all the way down onto our mats, onto the belly, and go ahead and stack those forearms and rest the head. And we'll take some nice deep breaths here. And grounding down, connecting to your mat, to the earth, to your breath. One more nice big deep breath across that lower back all the way down the body. Then we're going to make our way up into a sphinx, bringing those elbows underneath the shoulders. Nice and gentle here, kind of check in with that lower back, stretching cold. I'm going to be nice and gentle. And let's lower back down, stack those forearms, rest the head. And then coming back up into Sphinx, we're going to add a little shoulders here. We're going to drop that left shoulder toward the mat, and then maybe turn and gaze over that right shoulder. And then we're going to flow up. You're going to lower the right shoulder toward the center of the mat, maybe turn and look over the left shoulder. And just kind of take your time here, lowering one, maybe adding that twist and look over the other shoulder. Last one. Coming back to center, we'll sl slowly lower down and slide those hands underneath the shoulders. We're going to send it back to a child's pose. First one here, take your time, kind of sinking those hips toward the heels, rounding the spine. We're going to take our left hand and feed it palm up all the way under the body, lower that left ear toward the mat. And then we'll send that left hand overhead and we'll switch. We'll feed the right hand palm up all the way under. And then that right arm back overhead. We're going to make our way up into our tabletop. Let's take a few cat and cow. Inhaling for cow, exhaling to round for cat. 
use that breath and flow at your own pace. One more breath. And let's circle out in the hips here. Start whichever direction you want to. And we'll circle the other way. Then we're gonna make our way to that first down dog. We'll walk those hands to the top, tuck the toes, sending those hips up and back as you're ready. And maybe we bend one knee and the other. Take some movement here to kind of get settled into this first one. And we're gonna make our way to the top of our mat and into a ragdoll. Hanging the head, grab opposite elbows. Feel free to bend the knees generously here. And as we release those hands, we're gonna roll all the way up into a nice tall mountain. Let's circle out those shoulders here at the top. And then the other way, rolling them forward. And then we'll bind our left hand to the lower back. Right hand's gonna grab that left wrist, gently pull off to the right and drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Breathing into the neck, kind of opening up that shoulder a little bit. And we'll release the hands and sink the chin down toward the chest. And then we'll switch sides. We'll bind that right arm. Left hand will gently pull that right wrist just a little bit to the left and we'll drop our left ear toward the left shoulder. And then again, we'll release those arms down by our sides and sink that chin down toward the chest. Rolling back up into neutral. On that inhale, we're gonna sweep up tall. Exhale, we'll hinge, fold, step back to plank. Use that exhale to lower down nice and slow and controlled. On the inhale, we'll lift the chest baby cobra, and then we'll send it up and back, down, down. You can always find a child's pose instead if you prefer. On our inhale, we're gonna make our way to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold. We'll inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweeping tall. Adding a chest expansion here at the top, we're gonna pull those elbows back Open up the chest, maybe tip the chin up just a little bit. Then we'll inhale, reach tall. Exhale, fold. Find our way to plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale for baby cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, bending the knees, travel to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we'll sweep tall. Adding that chest expansion, pull those elbows back, up and through. Inhale, reaching tall. Exhale, fold. Stepping back to plank. Exhaling to lower. Inhaling, baby cobra or your up dog. Exhale, down dog. Down. 
Inhale, we'll travel to the top. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweeping tall. Exhale, chest expansion. Next inhale, reaching tall. Exhale, fold. Stepping back to plank. Exhaling to lower. Inhale, baby cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. And we'll travel to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we'll sweep top. Exhale, chest expansion. Inhale, reaching tall. Exhale, we'll fold. We're gonna step our left foot back, coming into a crescent lunge. Ball of that back foot. Shoulders stay nice and soft as you reach overhead here. We're gonna add that chest expansion to our crescent lunge. Take your time, pull those elbows back. Maybe start to gaze up just a little bit. On that inhale, we'll start to make our way back to our crescent. Opening up the hips, we'll transition to warrior two. Reversing the warrior. Right arm up, breathe into that lower back. Warrior two. And then opening up to that wide edge, we're gonna turn our toes out to the corners of the mat, sinking down for goddess. And then we'll again add that chest expansion. On the inhale, we're gonna rise up. Exhale, as we sink to goddess legs, we're gonna open up into those goal post arms, opening up the chest. Inhale, reaching tall. Exhale, open. Send that chest up and through. Your pace, your breath. One more. Then we'll inhale, reaching for star. Exhale, warrior two, back to the top. We'll inhale, windmill those hands, stepping back, down dog. Adding the bottom of your salutation if you want to, using that inhale to flow to plank, exhale to lower, inhale lift, Exhale, down dog. And we'll travel to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we'll sweep up top. Let's bring those palms together overhead and draw some nice big body circles here. We'll switch directions. And then inhale, reach tall. Exhale, we'll fold and step that right foot back. Finding our crescent lunge on this side. Settling in. And then adding that chest expansion, starting to pull those elbows back. Tipping that gaze up. And then making our way back to Crescent. We'll open up to Warrior Two. Shoulders soft. 
reverse lawyer. And warrior two. Opening to that wide edge pose, flaring out, sink into your goddess here first. And then we'll add that flow. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, down to that goddess, opening up the chest. Last one. Then we'll inhale, reach for that star. Exhale, warrior two. Um, inhale, windmill those hands. Stepping back, down dog. And again, if you want to take the bottom of your salutation, you can slow to plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale, baby cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Last one of our practice. Two more breaths here. And then as you're ready, taking those knees nice and wide, we're going to send it back to child's pose. Let's walk those hands off to the left side of the mat, kind of breathing into the right side, opening up that right side of the body. And then moving the root center, we'll walk it off to the right. And then back to center. On that inhale, coming back up into our tabletop. Let's take those hips back and forth, side to side. And then when those hips are to the left, we're gonna let them stay there. Look around our left shoulder, looking for that hip back there. And then through center, hips to the right. We'll look around that right shoulder. And back to center, keeping those hips nice and high. We'll walk those hands away, melt the heart down toward the mat. Puppy pose. And then we'll walk those hands back underneath, lower one of those hips. Coming into our nice easy seat. Let's bring the soles of the feet together here first. Sitting up nice and tall. We'll keep our back flat for as far as we can, hinge from those hips. When you find your stretch, you can keep that back flat, or here you can round, tuck the chin. Rolling up, we'll keep our feet 
together. We're gonna add a little twist. We'll reach that right arm behind, left hand toward that right knee, tall spine as we twist. And then through center, we'll twist to the left. And back to center. Let's send that right leg out. We'll keep the sole of the left foot on the inside of the leg. Pull those right toes back, reach tall. Exhale, hinge and fold. And release, switching sides, left leg out. Pull those toes back, reach tall, and hinge and fold. And release. All right, let's plant both feet. We'll do a boat before we roll it down. So walk those feet back, lift the shins, and you let go. You can play around if you want to reach the arms up, extend the legs, take any kind of boat you like here. One more breath. And release, planting those feet. Let's roll all the way down. We'll settle in here. Make sure those shoulder blades are nice and low down the back. And let's windshield wiper the knees side to side. Dropping those knees to the left. We'll let them stay. Arms can be whatever feels best. Maybe the gaze is straight up. Maybe it's off to the right. Letting the body sink and settle into your twist. And then we'll move up through center. We'll drop our knees to the right. Maybe the gaze again is up or this time off to the left. And back up to the center. Let's bring that right ankle to the top of the left knee, reclined pigeon. We'll pull that left leg into chest so we can really seal that back against the mat. Some breaths into the right hip here as well.
and we'll release to switch sides, bringing that left ankle to the right knee. We'll pull that right leg in. And then release, and let's hug both knees in the chest, rock it out a little side to side. And then as you're ready, we're gonna release and the legs long down the mat, pointing our way into Shavasana. Feel free to use any props that you want to there. Blanket, maybe an eye pillow, a bolster or support under the legs. And then just release, relax, sink and settle. Come back to your breath. There's nowhere else to be, nothing else to do. Feel free to stay as long as you like. And if you're ready, we'll start making our way back into our body, into our space. A few nice big breaths here first. And some gentle movement in the fingers and toes. Making our way to either side. We'll use a few final breaths here of practice to breathe in all the good of practice and to exhale out onto the mat anything we want to leave here. And we'll press up as we're ready. Coming to that nice. Easy seat. Thank you very much for sharing part of your day with me. Namaste.